It is now 1116. Sarah, hard to believe. We're already talking about shipping packages for Christmas. It is unbelievable, but I think if you're getting those new sweatpants or maybe slippers, you would have wanted them today because it's just <laughs> been that kind of chilly, dreary, stay bundled up inside kind of a day, huh, Betsy Kling? It definitely has. The temperature only moved like four degrees today because of all the clouds and the showers that we have. Tomorrow morning, we're going to start right around 50 degrees or so. Showers linger. I showed you kind of a preview of what the forecast will look like in the morning. Then we're going with cloudy skies in the afternoon as temperatures stay in the 50s. Radar is showing just a few spits and sprinkles out there. We're expecting more rain to expand across the area through the night tonight. Kind of an interesting temperature picture because it's obviously cooler in western Ohio than what we have going on here. And you can see a pretty definitive line that is set up, not only with the temperatures, but also with the wind direction. Anytime you got the wind coming together at a certain point, that's a convergent zone. That's where some kind of a boundary is. And in this case, it is a frontal boundary that is passing through. It's 43 degrees right now in Detroit. It's 40 in Chicago, and they're sitting at 31 degrees in Minneapolis, 20s in Marquette. This is a pretty cool batch of air that is here, uh, but it's not really going to impact us directly. We're going to stay on the fringes of this one. You can see the rain that is expanding across western Ohio, eastern Indiana. That comes our way tonight, so that kind of locks in the rain chances overnight tonight. Even in the last 15 minutes or so, so I saw a lightning bolt show up in western Ohio. Uh, it was like the wimpiest little shower ever, but hey, who, who am I to say it didn't happen? Uh, certainly, though, it does look like we could have a few rumbles of thunder as this kind of moves across the area. The even bigger picture, you know I love to do that to you, uh, shows kind of an interesting wavy pattern showing up in the clouds. The clouds fall along with the jet stream pattern, the jet stream kind of the big brother of the atmosphere that pushes everything around. You can see how the clouds are coming up over the northern Pacific, so that's a warming trend over the Pacific, but then all of it starts to kind of come down and then scoop right here over Ohio. So if that is our jet stream pattern, you can kind of see things are initially going to come at us, but a lot of the lifting is going to keep a lot of that cold air to the north of us for now. What's going to come in place of that will be much warmer air. So it's actually kind of a nice change on the onset. But then on the back end, things get a little nasty. You saw the rain come through here in your National Design Mar Hour by our forecast. Here again is 8 a.m. Temperatures low 50s, northerly breezes, kind of a raw start to the day. By midday, though, we should start to dry out. Not going to clear out, but it'll start to dry out. Still feeling a little damp out there. Temperatures stay in the 50s for most of the afternoon. That northeast wind stays with us. Can't rule out a random shower chance here and there as we head through the afternoon. More rain, though, is coming Tuesday night into Wednesday, and then Wednesday we have showers likely in your Universal Windows Direct forecast. But I mentioned everything moving from southwest to northeast, and look at the result. Temperatures warming significantly through the rest of the week. We'll be back to the cool stuff as we get into the weekend with showers around, and then by Monday of next week, the blue arrow is back. That's not necessarily the best of news for the warm weather lovers out there. Jimmy's up next with a look at sports.